When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me So dark Should tumble and fall, or the mountain should crumble to the sea. I won't cry, I won't cry, no, I won't shed a tear just as long as you stand, stand by me. And all Having taught some of you and it had such good relationships with all of you, I wish you all the best. Don't forget us and if you need anything, always come back home. I just wanted to say how proud I am of all you see your sixes and how far you've come, especially seeing as I remember most of you in nursery, um, going from your cheeky little ways to some very grown up mature people that I am sure that your um, school, new schools will love. I wish you every success on your journey and in the future from now, and I'll probably see you all soon. Take care, bye. Hello mid class, wishing you all the best for the future in your new schools. Hope you all stay safe and keep in touch with us. It's been a pleasure watching you grow up and seeing you in school over the last few weeks as well. Um, take care, miss you loads. Um, come back and see us sometime. Bye. Hello year six. I have had the privilege of knowing the year group since they were in year, or since you were, in year one. Um, I used to read with Mrs Wright's class and do PSHE sessions in the afternoons. Then I would have you once or twice a week when you were in year two with Miss Meekle. I then had the privilege of sharing the class with Miss Meekle in year three and we did so much. Some of the wo most wonderful memories that come to mind are the amazing um, assemblies or mini productions we used to have and we used to really enjoy ourselves. I'm going to really miss you all. You are a special bunch of individuals. You are hardworking, intelligent, creative, hilarious and I've got some wonderful memories stored um, that I can always look, reflect and look back on. I wish you every success in secondary school. I am 
confident, 100% confident you're all going to do phenomenally well. And please do stay in touch and take care of yourselves. Wow, look at you. Year six is already. I remember when you was in reception year one and I've watched you grow. Good luck in your new schools and I hope you come back and see us soon. Take care. Bye. Hello Year 6, uh, congratulations on finishing primary school, that is so incredible. Um, I just want to say, have um, an amazing summer and have so much fun in your new schools. Um, I'm sure it's going to be great, um, you're such an amazing bunch of kids, so smart, so funny, so exciting and so brilliant. So um, I know you're all going to do great things and um, yeah, congratulations. I know this year has been a bit of a crazy one and um, I've really missed you. Um, so I'm sorry I haven't come to see you, um, but I wish you um, all the best. And um, if you could do me one favour, it would be to follow your dreams and just keep going. If there's something you love doing or something you're interested in, maybe you don't know what that is yet, but when you find out, don't let anyone dissuade you, just keep going because you're such an amazing bunch and I really think you could achieve anything. All right, see you later. Good luck with everything. Bye. Any advice for the year six leavers, Pip? Uh, bacon. Good advice. Sixes, just a quick video to say, well done and good luck on your new venture. It has been a real pleasure to teach both year groups, um, this year and last year. Um, you have got some fantastic characters and I hope you carry them into your new schools and, and show your teachers how fantastic you are. Thank you for a fantastic year. Continue to be great. Bye. Hey, year six. Um, just a quick message just to say, you know, good luck with secondary school and, you know, just keep it chill, behave yourself, um, you know, and I miss troubling you, I miss coming to your class, just disrupting, causing havoc, causing chaos, but causing fun. Um, yeah, that's it, innit? Uh, stay chill, stay cool, stay childish. Hi Year 6, this is just a quick message from me to say goodbye and good luck to you all. I just want to also say a big thank you for the last couple of years. It has been the greatest privilege to have been your teacher for this long and I have so many fond memories to take away with me and that I will treasure forever and ever. Um, some of my favourites um, in Year 4, uh, Olive class, that time it went really dark and um, it was in the afternoon and Yafat came and said to me that he had to go to bed because it was night time. Um, being hit in the head by Freddie with the dodgeball after the game had ended, may I add. Um, being corrected by Holly about how I pronounce water or water, as I've learned. Um, what else? Oh gosh, losing a bet to Amari and owing you on a class party. It has been an absolute roller coaster with both classes and I have enjoyed every last second of it. You are truly such special children and I know your new schools will very quickly learn what wonderful children that they've inherited from us. I wish you nothing but success and I hope I get to hear about some of the fantastic things that you go on to do. Bye and good luck. Hi Year 6, it's Mrs. Wright here. This is going to be my last video to you for this year, but it's a video celebrating our time that we've had together. What an amazing journey we've had together. Even though our time was cut short by the COVID-19, you have been the most dedicated and passionate year group I've ever taught. I can't say enough how proud I am. I know I say it every day, but I am absolutely proud of you and all the effort, the time, the dedication that you've put into year six. This year hasn't been easy. As with all year sixes before you, and I guess all year sixes after you will tell you, it's a year of hard work. But I admire how you came into year six, you worked hard, you came in early, you left late, and all of this was to ensure that you made absolutely great progress throughout the year. Our mock test results have proven how hard you have worked. And from all of the adults, all the teachers in school, I want to say that I am 
absolutely we are absolutely proud of you and we know that you are prepared for secondary school we know that your good work will transition with you but as you move on to secondary school i want to give you some little nuggets of wisdom yeah i'm still dropping nuggets of wisdom there are a few things that i want you to take with you no matter where you will go in life the first one is to always remain your true authentic self there's no one else that can be you and in each and every one of you is something unique something special something that only you can do and i know that i love all of you and i want you to always remain who you are be steadfast in your truth and ensure that you never follow the crowd be you stand out you were never born to follow the crowd you were born to stand out and be your own amazing self next thing i want you to know remain humble but remain driven in everything you do be humble but be that quiet force working hard dedicated just as you've been in year six dedicated to all the things that will help you to make progress in life I know that you can do that. Don't for ever one minute think that you can't do anything that you set your mind to. Remain driven but with humility because that's how you will conquer the world. I also want you to always remember to be kind. You're moving on to secondary school now and you're going to meet quite a range of characters you're going to have children who've gone through different circumstances than yourself i want you to always remember that everyone is going through something and all you need to do is to be kind a smile a kind word it costs nothing but guess what it will always brighten someone's day be kind and i want you to always work hard always be a better version of yourself every day even if you come across any obstacles remember I'm always telling you never allow a bump in the road to be the end of your journey mistakes are going to happen you are going to fail you won't be perfect at everything but I want you to always remember that that's just a bump and all we need to do is to drive over that bump As I've said to you many times, I wasn't the brightest person in maths. I had to work my socks off for it. And look at me here, teaching you maths, being fabulous at it. I want you to remember that no matter the obstacles that you will face, there's always a way to get over or around them, but never allow them to stop you from being your own beautiful, magnificent self. I love all of you and I'm going to miss you. I want you to come by when it's safe. (laughs) I want to see you in your secondary school uniforms. I want to hear about how you're making progress in secondary school. But all I want you to do is to remember to be you, be amazing, and of course, always work hard. I love you all, and I hope I'll be able to see you soon. Bye. Hi. For the last seven years at Harris, I've had a great time. The things I've enjoyed most are all the great friends I've met and all the teachers I've met. And all the learning, how the teachers have made it fun and prepared me for secondary school. My message for the rest of the year is good luck for year seven. My favourite memory was when we were in year five and we were going swimming and we came back. And we, me and Natasha were in the bus and um, we were doing Try Not To Laugh. And instead of saying car, she said can and then it wasn't even funny, but we just started laughing throughout the entire ride. And then everyone was so annoyed with us. And yeah, that's okay. When we went to Kingswood, and we did lots of tasks that were scary, but we did them with our partners. My favorite memory is in year five when we were playing roll doll, and Joe was Mrs. Twit, and I was Mrs. Twit, and Joe's wig fell off the stage, and everyone started laughing at him. <laughs> Memories when we went on to the ship at London and then we said Chris got us lost underneath the ship and everyone thought we were going to die under there. <laughs> it was when um, we went on the Jacob's Ladder and I couldn't get up and then Luna helped me and then I slipped down it. <laughs> Memory is going on Jacob's Ladder in Kingswood and Lily um, helping me all the way up and we got all the way up.
freely when when we'll in PE and Freddie through the bottom and said just as he said. So I know that in year six, my favourite memory is that we now are in separate bubbles. Now we're based on flowers instead of trees. And in year five, I remember Mr. Austin being my previous teacher. The memory was when I was trialling for the football team in year five and yeah, I got fine. Memory is going to Kingswood and having loads of fun there. Memory was when we were at Kingswood and then there was about five, um, four of us in a, and six of us in a dorm and then we were all playing um, games in the dark. Memory is when we went to Kingswood and on the last day we um, were doing the climbing and I kept climbing to the top of the wall first. The memory of primary school was when we went to Kingswood and we played these all kinds of games in the dark. The memory was when I was in a dinner hall and the fire alarm went off and Christian threw his knife and full cup and just ran out with his lunch. The memory of primary school was when we were on the sports pitch and I fell over and slid. On three is when Miss, when Miss White always makes jokes about people talking a lot. I remember it was when Mr. Hoskin was singing Moana and then everyone said that was the wrong words and then he threw his ukulele across the classroom. The memory was when Mr. Hoskin got mad at us so he said I'm standing here like a lemon. It was me and Isla, we were, we were playing hide and seek with our other friends and we were meant to be quiet but we kept on laughing instead and then we got caught. I remember when Freddie hit me and touched everything door and he threw it off. The was when Freddie hit me in the stomach with a javelin and I tried to draw that thing. My memory was when we had Miss Adja first for a year six and year five teacher. Favourite memory is when we went to Kingswood and yeah, and we did fun activities. <laughs>
you my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you Everything 